Okay, welcome back to another episode of Historic Headstones in Orphic. We are in Petersburg at the beautiful Blanford Cemetery. I love this place. I love coming here. It's amazing. So much history. We are here on Memorial Day afternoon. A beautiful afternoon, really. We are going to be talking about the person who started Memorial Day here in the U.S. Her name is Nora Fontaine Murray Davis Davidson. Little is known about her education, which she may have received at home. She never married. During the Civil War, she worked in a local hospital. She, she served first as treasurer at the Ladies Hospital and in the Linen Matron at the Popular Lawn Hospital from spring 1873 until the fall of 1864, when the hospital was moved to Danville. She also tended to the wounded soldiers. Her experiences during the war laid the foundation for later work as a staunch Confederate uh, Confederate uh, preserver of memorials and things like that. By the end of the war, in 1864, she established a school for young children. In its early years, it was known as a Confederate school, and later as Davison, Davison Seminary. She served as principal and also taught for 60 years until retiring in 1923. In 1877, after Davison's students had raised uh, funds for a monument to North Carolina Confederate troops, and Blanford Cemetery, a local newspaper, remarked on her, uh, paper, uh, her uh, being a patriot and her energy. On May 26, uh, along with 80 of her students and other adults, they decorated the graves of Confederate soldiers all through the cemetery, every single one. And you got to remember, that's a lot of people flagging. And you got to remember back then, too, the flags were handmade. They were not mass-produced as they are today. So that's a lot of work. Traveling by wagons, decked by flags, draped in mourning, the party then visits the Battle of the Crater, which is just south here, a few minutes south of here. You can actually see it from here. She later recalled that the former battlefield was a horrible place as the heads of those who fell were exposed to the view, which means they were coming out of the ground, including other bones. She was disgusted by that. While visiting the cemetery, the wife of the Union General, John A. Logan, observed Davison and the students putting flowers and tiny Confederate flags in the graves of the soldiers. Upon Mary Logan's return to Washington, D.C. and meeting her husband, General Logan, at the railroad station, she told the story of her visit to Petersburg and how she was moved by what she witnessed there. Upon hearing the story, General Logan, now the first commander of the Grand Army of the Republic, replied to her that he would work to establish a custom of honoring falling soldiers across the country. He issued a GAR order establishing a National Decoration Day. It was originally called National Decoration Day, not Memorial Day, which was later passed by Congress and renamed, as we know today, as Memorial Day. This is her stone here. It's a beautiful stone. Here layeth the body of Nora Fontaine Marie, the daughter of Colonel James and Mary Harrison Davison. She was born in February 19th, 1836, died February 10th, 1929. Active in the First Confederate Hospital of Petersburg in 1862, originator of Memorial Day, June 9th, 1866, which was the inspiration for the National Decoration Day. She was a charter member of the Ladies Memorial Association of the Petersburg Chapter, UDFC Charter. Uh, Matrian Alpha Charter Number One, e Order Eastern Star, that's a uh, Freemason for women, and the Principal Confederate School for 45 years, which she started that school. She's amazing. There are, last few years, people have been putting out articles and uh, things like that saying that she may have not started this holiday. It may have started in Georgia. I left that out because right now that's a big debate and I'm not really convinced it started down there yet. So we're going to go ahead and keep it the way it is. As uh, Nora here being the uh, originator of Memorial Day. So with that, happy Memorial Day guys and we'll see you at the next episode.